This video doesn't end until I get 99 defense. In the last episode, I got to level 96, so we still have quite a ways to go. I will be doing this all through Slayer, and throughout it, I will be doing two Corrupted Gauntlets every day, as well as fishing when I have AFK time while I watch football. But my name is Foley, and welcome to Making Dreams Come True, a series where I take you on a journey of me maxing my account. And if you're new here and like the video, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. But anyways, thank you for watching, and let's get started. All right, and we're going to start off this video with a beginner, an easy, a medium, and a hard clue casket that I got while I was fishing. Six chaos runes. All right, all right, starting off strong. God damn, I, I like the beginner one more. Can't, can't lie. Hey, we got an adamant shield H5. Very cool. And then for the hard casket, we got an armadillo plate body. Very cool. All right, so the clan is hosting a Zora event. I'm not sure how long it's going to go. Maybe a week. I don't know. But whoever gets the most Zora KC in the time will get 25 mil. Second place gets 10. And third place gets 5 million. Also, the first person to get a mutagen will get 5 mil. The first person to get a pet will get 5 mil. And the person who gets the most uniques will get 5 mil. So, I'm going to go ahead and do Zora. I haven't been to Zora for a long, long time. And I have the Bofa now. So, I am going to go ahead and try Bofa only Zora. Now to see if I remember how to do the fight. All right. First clear. And I didn't bring adequate enough anti-poison. I didn't know which one to bring because I started this grind with a Serp Helm. Oh, and I only did that one kill, but I am starting off at 261 Zora kills. I guess 262 after the kill I just did. But I only have the Magic Fang as a collection log, so still a lot of things to get from here. Zora Speed Trialist. That's a minute 12. Very nice. That is the 300th Zora kill. Still only one unique. Hey, got a magic fang, which is a do. Yeah, that was a uh, kill 397. So we're almost at 400. We're, uh, we went a while for that unique. Oh, I got the speed chaser. Nice. 59 seconds. What? I actually got that? Yeah, I got to kill the corrupted humloof without taking damage from tornadoes, the floor or stomp attacks and do not take any damage off prayer, and don't attack the Corrupted Humlet with the wrong weapon. That is awesome. I didn't know I, I got it. That's awesome. Some Dragon Arrows and a Rune Halberd. And just an update on Zora. I have 433 kills now, and I only got that one unique so far, the Magic Fang, which is a dupe, unfortunately. So I had to work all day yesterday, so I didn't even get to get on my computer, but I did get to uh, fish a lot. So I'm level 87 fishing now, about a third of the way to 88, but that's all I've gotten to do since the last clip. Oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I did find out the Zora competition is going for a week long. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a week long because I still need to do a lot of uh, defense training. So I think right now I'm going to go for 500 kills right now. And later in the week when it gets close to the end of the event, I might come back to get some more kills. But if I get 500 kills, that will give me 239 kills for the week. So I'm not sure if that'll be enough to even get any prize but we'll just have to wait and see yeah i've been doing this bofa only method for this whole time and i gotta say it's really nice like i really do enjoy it you just really can't expect to hit for shit when it's in the melee phase but other than that it's it's very viable it makes this boss a lot easier you don't have to switch weapons but to the blowpipe if you want to heal up a little bit. Yeah, I find myself hardly ever getting to the Jad phase. It's only happened like a handful of times, and that's just because of bad RNG. All right, and that is the 500th kill. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. I just seen a uh, 500 kill. We get a 500 Zora skill drop, which that's uh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, only got a duplicate unique out of this whole grind. I guess the really good part about this is... Uh, I'm pretty stocked up on Zora skills for now, and 
I can actually break down this magic thing for more scales. So yeah, we got like 88,000 Zolar scales from this grind. So I will definitely be sitting on that for a while. Won't have to uh, buy any. And since I wasn't using the Serp Helm or the... Well, I was using the blowpipe a little bit for specs, but I really didn't use any scales. So I profited massively scale wise. Didn't didn't use any really. Oh yeah, and these are all of the clues that I got while skilling and doing Zora. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open them up to see if we get anything juicy. So we'll start off with the two beginners I got from fishing, which is about as expected. The easy is on par. Okay, and the hard, we get a an ornament kit. I don't think it's worth much. Nah, that's not worth too much. And then we have five elite caskets. And we get a master clue for the first one. Okay. All right, we got the master clue. So let's go ahead and open the rest of these elites. All right, well, that was uh, pretty much what you you would uh, expect out of an elite. All right, and to the master. I mean, we get a couple Onyx Bolts E, but really, really not the best. 440k loot total for that. All right, and we get 244 Necreal to start off Slayer with. No, there there actually ain't no way. There is no way I get another Eternal Gem. There's actually no fucking way. Oh my god. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh my what? I uh, I I I uh uh <laughs> uh i i can explain i can explain um oh um i uh what in the actual fuck though i well i guess i can sell this one and and make some money it's going for 9.6 mil right now i guess uh, that's that, that's the bright side um yeah that was really unexpected you know i just got this uh the first one last week and i really wasn't expecting to see another superior drop for for a long long time if at all ever again but uh rng rng is a is a crazy thing isn't it all right so if i take this this eternal gem and put it right here i, I guess I, I mean i'll just put it in for 9.5 mil you know and we'll just i guess we'll just let it sit there but an update on the fishing i am now level 88 fishing and if we look here in the past week, I have gained a little over 1 million fishing XP. But yep, just going to go ahead and get my two kills for the Corrupted Gauntlet. And then we'll get back to some Slayer. There we go. There is the first kill. And uh, not the greatest chest, but all right, we go again. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I actually got a dupe pet. I got a dupe pet at 59. I didn't even realize it. I wasn't looking at the chat. Oh my god, what is going on today? What the hell? This is honestly crazy. Like, what else could come up today? Like, that's ridiculous. All right, 172 Abyssal Demons. Hey, an Abyssal Whip. Very nice. It is my lucky day. Oh, another Abyssal Whip. Would you look at that? Very nice. Two in one task. All right, a new day, and I started off with doing these clues that I had in the bank from fishing. So I have a beginner, a easy, a medium, and a hard. And that's about what I expected. Okay. Oh, I got a dragon knife drop from these drakes. That's cool. Oh, the drake's tooth. There we go. We're done with the Drake collection log now. That's awesome. And that is 236 Drakes and we have two claws and a tooth. That's fucking disgusting. Plus a dragon knife drop. That is absolutely crazy. All right. So yeah, I do not have to do any more Drakes if I don't want to, which they kind of take a while to do. So I probably won't do them anymore. Hey, look at that. We got level 97 defense two more levels or about 2.3 mil xp oh a missed battle staff oh my god wow that is awesome i did not expect to see that but here we are hey look at that a dragon harpoon 1.6 million in the bag and yeah these clips are coming few and far between but just a little update about halfway to level 98 defense and we are approaching a slayer level almost at 98 and level 98 defense level 123 combat has been achieved one more level 
1.2 million more XP. Hey, level 98 Slayer. Very nice. We got one more level for Slayer too. I'm not sure if I'll... I mean, I'll get 99 defense before 99 Slayer, but yeah. Not sure how close I'll end up being though. It is I, the rare Fisher Foley, appearing on camera as I get ready for these football games today. And just a little update, I did hit 89 last night as I was laying in bed. And another little update, the Zolra event is over. And I ended up winning third place, which gave me 5 mil. I decided to put it back in the pot for the next event that the clan holds. Football has been watched and XP has been gained. I am now level 90 fishing, uh, almost halfway there to 91, which is the goal for fishing for right now. All right, so I have come to make a decision and that is to get rid of the dragon claws. I haven't had them long, but I feel like this upgrade will be worth it in the long run of things. Um, it's gonna be a long time before I get ancestral. So I think the best thing that I can do for myself right now is by the Virtus robe top and bottom. So this will help me a lot with my bursting task. It gives a 1% magic damage bonus and it increases to four if you're using ancient magics. So if I'm wearing the robe top and the robe bottom, that means I am getting an 8% damage bonus with my ancient magics, which that is pretty fucking huge. Not gonna lie. All right, I had to go up in price a little bit, but I didn't have to sell anything. I still have one mil left, but yep, the Virtus Robe Bottom for 37.6 million and the Virtus Robe Top for 69 million, but we can equip it now and we look at... I, I really do like the, the Virtus armor set. It looks pretty good. But yeah, overall, I am happy with that. I have a Smoke Devil's task, so I get to use this right away. All right, and nothing interesting happened yesterday. I did get a couple hundred thousand defense XP before another football game started, but I did fish a lot, and here I am at 91 fishing after a couple fish. And there we go. There is 91 fishing. We can now do all of the Elite Mortania Diaries, so I'm going to go do that real quick. All right, so I have the fishing now for the shark um, with my bare hands and Berg to rot. I need to cremate any shade remains on a magic or redwood pyre, and then I need to fertilize the herb patch using lunar magic, and then craft black dragon hide body on the cannabis bank, and then loot a barrow's chest while wearing any complete barrow set. And there we go. There is our big old fish. We got it. We got it, boys. And there we go. Another achievement. Oh, okay. You don't even have to rake it. You can just cast fertilize on it. That's awesome. Now we have to be in the bank for this. So let's make sure we're well within the confines of the bank. All right. Task number four is done. And now we just got to head over to Barrows and get ourselves a kill. And you don't have to wear the full set until you loot the chest. So I, I did bring the trident and then you just got to make sure you have the whole set wielded before you loot the chest. Then it should be good to go. And there we go. Well done. You have completed an elite task in the Mortine area. And we got a bunch of mind runes. Let's go. But that was the last task. If you can, you can see right here, I completed the Elite Diary. So let me head over to Mortania and get my rewards. Yes, 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 yes. Give me my shit. Give me my shit. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So now we have the legs for which this gives me unlimited teleports to the slime pit beneath the ectofunctus, which is uh, not really useful for me. But we do get this 50k XP lamp, which I will put into agility. And that will actually give me level 82 agility too. So that is pretty cool. We get the fourth floor of the Hollowed Sepulchre. Other benefits are Robin offers 39 free buckets of slime and 39 pots of bone meal in exchange for bones every day. You get 50% more fire making experience when burning at the shade remains. And the one I was wanting the most which is why i was going for the diary anyway was the bone crusher now gives full prayer experience instead of half and we also have access to the herb patch on harmony island and we get 10 percent more slayer experience in the slayer tower while we're on a slayer task 
So all of that is pretty nice stuff, and I'm glad to have it out of the way. We have quite a bit more of Elite Diaries to go for, but I feel like that was one of the bigger ones to get out of the way. Two days later. Oh, hey, look, an occult necklace. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I guess it's been a while since an update, because, uh, yeah, I've just been doing Slayer, getting monotonous tasks, and nothing really interesting going on. But we are 368k XP away from getting 99 defense, so this shouldn't take too long, maybe another day or two, and yeah, I'm excited for this grind to finally come to an end. A few minutes later. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Another j eternal gem? What in the hell is happening? I, I, I can't even fucking believe my eyes on what the fuck I am seeing. This is absolute bullshit. And I, oh, I, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm fucking done. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll take, I'll take the eight point. I'll take the 8.9 mil or whatever. 8.8 .8 mil. Fuck it. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck i mean i was i was talking about how like nothing's been going on and then they just dropped me a third fucking eternal gem like i i fucking luck works in mysterious ways man i guess and there is level 86 runecraft very nice now that i have the 91 fishing out of the way i am going back to runecraft until i'm pretty sure 91 as well for all the uh diary requirements that need runecrafting so here's to a lot more runecrafting oh would you look at that 600 tasks complete now giving us a total of 1190 points we are closing in we have 250k more xp to go and i'm pretty sure i can get that all done today so whip this should be the last kill i need to get so that i hit 99 defense i have been at it for like three weeks now trying to get this and it's so nice to finally see it come to an end oh i gotta attack this guy there we go 99 defense we did it boys we did it all right and we just gotta go to lumbridge and talk to the melee tutor guy and we can get ourselves our defense cape and there it is. And this one actually matches the fit too. I might say it matches better than the magic cape actually with the trim. I, I do like that. And oh yeah, you just put up a shield and you're just blocking stuff. Look at that. Very cool. I like that emote. All right. And I've been saving up a bunch of caskets. I mean, it's not really too much, but yeah, I've been doing a couple clues here and there whenever I feel like it. So I got three of each and then 25 hard clues bare feet okay i think that's my first collection log from a beginner clue if i'm not mistaken yeah the first one so very cool and the two easies gets me red elegant legs and the willow comp bow now on to the mediums we get an ancient cloak and we've already got the strength amulet before all right now on to the hard clues Oh, look at that. Rune, plate body H4. Ancient chaps and the dual side. And have I gotten the rune full helm T? I'm not sure. I have not. That's three and one casket. Look at that. Very nice. The rune plate legs trimmed. The Narda teleport. Oh, I, I guess I, I didn't realize I didn't get that before hey the bandos plate legs very cool the magic combo very cool and the last hard casket we don't get anything all right we got three elites to do now which i am not very optimistic on these and we get a master clue all right all right i'll do a master clue all right that master clue is complete so we have this last elite casket and yep that's a that's about what you expect and the master casket is i mean you get some grimy toad flags but yeah it wasn't the best but as you can see we didn't really get much from the beginner easy or medium value wise and then the 25 hards gave 
2.9 mil, the three elites gave 412k, and the one master gave 648k. And we did get quite a bit of uniques, I would have to say. I also did a decent amount of Konar during this grind, so I have 62 brimstone keys that I want to open up to. Mystic Boots. Very nice. That is my second pair of Mystics. We have the hat now and the boots. Very cool. And that is on chest number 197. So we are uh, pretty lucky, I might say. All right, and that is all of them done. And yeah, we only got the Mystic Dust Boots, but I wasn't even expecting that. Um, totaling up to 5.1 mil for all of those, which is uh, pretty good. Nice little added value on top of all the other things that I've gotten from Slayer. Okay, so I just checked these out, and honestly, if I could use these fucking weapons efficiently, that would be fucking dope. Get like a, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, just imagine this guy just walks out and it's just fucking raiding. I mean, yeah, that would be badass. Come on, Jagex, make this make this work. And there's one last thing that I want to do, and I know I could actually make a lot more money if I just sold all the crystal keys, but I kind of want to make some enhanced crystal keys and open the chest myself, and maybe I'll get a collection log slot. Who knows? But yeah, I've been saving up these uh, these crystal keys for a long time now. I haven't touched them for months on end. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, transfer these all to uh, enhanced crystal keys and open them. Now, each key that you make is gonna give you 500 XP in both smithing and crafting. So that's actually a pretty decent amount of XP that I'll be getting to from just making the keys. But all you gotta do is come to the singing bowl and to make a enhanced crystal key, you need 10 crystal shards and the crystal key itself. So I'll just do all and bam, that's 26k smithing and well, I guess 13k smithing and 13k crafting XP right there, which is pretty dope. All right, and I'm not sure the optimal setup, but I'm just bringing 14 keys and a gym bag plus a teleport in and out. And I believe you just have to climb up these stairs and you'll be where the chest is. Yup, that is the chest right there. And as you can see, I got rebated three cr crystal keys already. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use them because I don't have enough crystal shards unless I want to go buy them. But that's pretty much just all the crystal shards that I've been earning while doing Corrupted Gauntlet. And I think that's how it will remain because buying crystal shards is very expensive. And these are the last two keys and we get some loop half keys very cool yeah i didn't get any uniques but uh it was fun opening them up i must say and if you're wondering i did open up the rebate crystal keys too with the crystal shards that i got opened up 75 chests for 3.46 mil all right and it is that time to sell the loot tab yes sir that is right i'm sitting at 14 mil right now and yeah i'm gonna sell the loot tab plus a couple other things i think all right and we got everything sold besides all these abyssal whips and the occult necklace and there we go we end up with 46 million gold Bringing us up to 61 million gold at the end of our 99 defense grind. I am pretty happy to see this grind come to an end and another one to arrive soon. And yes, I have been keeping up with my CG grind and here is the evidence right here, right now. Me open up all these chests. I will admit that I am actually getting a lot better at CG. I'm dying hardly ever anymore and it's pretty relaxing now up until the point where it gets to the end of the kill then it gets pretty intense but other than that 
I am enjoying the two dailies and sometimes it's four if I'm not able to hop on that day. But yeah, my confidence in this place is skyrocketed and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I have 15 seconds to stall so this is a good time for me to procrastinate and distract you while I don't have anything to say and also admit that I am very, very bad at segues. If you are new here and enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. My name is Foley, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!